What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and this video right here is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, this video, this, this clip is so interesting to me. It's one of my favorite clips. It's, it's from a bigger interview with an artist by the name of Orrin Major and it's just the idea of what they've done is so unique and I think a lot of artists can get inspiration from it. Check it out. It's the network. Um, so the, I, oh man, I can't believe I even got about this. The whole, what do you call it? Um, is it like a rap Airbnb, rap house or something like that? All right, yeah. Bruh, tell, oh. like, explain this concept because that, that's hard. That's, I, I like the concept, man. I, I slick feel some type of way because Nick had got the house, right? And he was like, yeah, man, I'm thinking about building your own personal studio in it. And you can just come down and record and all that. So, he built that and then he leased it out to everybody else. I was like, yeah, no, I'm just playing. No, for real, <laughs> he, um, he built the, the studio in the house. Um, I recorded um, shit, a lot of the album there, a lot of the Stay Down album I recorded there. But I remember when he was in the process of building it, we had like this this random, just long conversation one night, just talking about all type of different plans and stuff. And I remember saying, um, It'd be dope. I remember he was talking about renting out the studio, and I was like, it'd be dope if he rent out the house. Mm. Like like an Airbnb. And him being him, like, without even thinking about it, like, months later, it came into fruition. So, um, I think it's probably been up and running for, like, a month now, maybe a little more. And already just from working and randomly talking to people, and building those connections, we had um, Earl Sweatshirt came through there. Um, uh, Mark Battles, he's a Coach K's artist. Um, and I don't even know if I can say this. Well, it's past now, but Ari Lennox's team came through. Word. Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And word of mouth, man. Arizona is like not Atlanta, you know, when it comes to music. So when you have something yeah. like that out there, it's like huge. I think that's I think that's ingenious, man, because like that's that's a basic business concept, right? Yeah, yeah. Like y'all can own a market where it's not popping in, in that way through something like that. And that's gonna build so many connections in its own way. So that's interesting. Like cause y'all y'all just posted it. I mean, how did those people find out about it? You just posted it on Airbnb Airbnb or did y'all reach out to people in the industry and let them know about it? I ain't do none of that. He <laughs> he was like, um, I think he targeted he did like targeted ads for um, Arizona artists, studios, independent artists, stuff like that. And yeah. like I said, with it being Arizona and not Atlanta, I think a lot of people paid a lot more attention because they don't really have those type of things going on down there. It's the network. All right, now that clip right there is so interesting and valuable because they were able to bring value to the marketplace in a way that doesn't exist for in, in, in the place that they are. Right. And that's really what value is in the, in, the, in the way that we try to seek connections and so many other aspects to level up in the industry. So many people try to give value in the way they see it, as opposed to truly fulfilling a need and seeing how that could be a way that they build connections. And beyond even what they just talked about in this video is something that, to take heed to. Right. What do you have around you that will allow you to get into circles or just to be able to connect to provide value to communities where now you become that guy? Right. And uh, so like there's a quite a few interesting stories. Right. Well, I'll just use two chain, for example, two chains talked about how he used to be the weed man for multiple people. Right. And that was a way to connect with people in multiple circles. And I know a lot of people who have done that in some form or fashion, right? And it allowed them to serve and become cool with certain people in certain environments. There are so many different ways to provide value, whatever that might mean to you. I think it's interesting to remember that you don't have to just keep pushing your music and you don't have to come from that standpoint of, hey, I'm good, I'm awesome, how can we connect and how can I navigate to be on your level or can I pay for a consultation or whatever that might look like to do business with you. Maybe you can do something that attracts the people as opposed to you having to do all this work and go to them. 
and that's it. Just a little inspiration, a, a real unique thing that they're doing, Oren and Geranicus. I love it. And other than that, remember, my full interview with Oren Major can be found on brandmannetwork.com. And if you like this video, you might as well hit the like button. If you like, you might as well share. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.